I'm uh, working today on a different project. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, my wife's taking first aid course, so I'm trying to keep busy and keep the bi kids busy too, but uh, she bought some hydroponics here. I'll try to flip this around. Hydroponic kits from Vivor, this cool site that we found. Um, they had these very inexpensive hydroponic uh, ladder towers. I think there's like, I think it's 76 spots for the hydroponic tubes. So I just unpacked it. Um, I'm not doing like the nice video where you unpack it and line everything up nice and cool. I don't really work that way. So I'm just whipping it together as quickly as I can because I don't have a lot of time with the kids here. Um, they'll uh, probably interrupt me at some point, but yeah, I want to see if I can get this tower together. I put one together uh, with like a few minutes ago, just so just so I could see how it goes together, and it didn't have too many hiccups. Um, the labeling is uh, a little bit inaccurate with these, but uh, it's easy enough to figure out. So um, I thought I'd try to put one together on video. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can get it set up uh, some way where you guys can actually see me trying to put it together, and then we'll go from there. What's up, honey? We just had lunch. So all these little caps just slide over top of the tubes, like a so. Decide if you want to go in or out, buddy. In or out. So we'll just start by putting all the caps on the tubes, throwing them around as I see fit. Yeah, it's a nice little system, it's all food grade PVC. Uh, it's fairly thick, so you know, for the price, you, know, you really can't beat it. I put one of these together out of uh, the 4 inch PVC uh, at our previous address and it was a real, it was expensive and it was a real pain to get all the angles and everything so hopefully this is all set to the proper angles and they block what they need to block so that the water flows the way that it's supposed to but we'll show a demonstration of that when we, uh, when we get there no buddy we just had lunch okay so now we got to put the legs together so they're supposed to be numbered according to the diagram they're really not. It's supposed to be one and two. And I've got a one, two, three, and four. And, um, that's fine. They're they're both pretty much the same for each leg. It's like I said, it's like a ladder configuration. So you just make the two the same. Um, so one side of the leg has these two holes and the T at the top, and then the other part of it. Has the T that goes in this direction. So that goes on top there. This one works out so there's a one and a one for that piece. And then there should be another one and a one but it's not. It's a One is good. And then this one is labeled two and two, but it's supposed to be one and one according to the guy diagram. So they go together like that, and then you have your bottom piece, which is where the drain is. But it clips on to the very bottom leg, and there's like a blockers in the tubes. It's so like the water can't can't go this way down the leg because that's one thing I was like oh how's they gonna stop the water from going right onto the floor but there's a piece in there that blocks the flow of water. And those just clip right there and then the top piece where the water pump fits onto they have this little nozzle on there. Like I said we'll do an operation video afterwards and kind of tie it in so you can see They go onto the outside, I believe. One goes on one 
side one goes on the other. Yeah, so this one goes on this side. Where these little plastic sleeves are. Just put some down to there. Nice and easy. And then we put together the other side. And it's basically the same. You take two pieces that are the same. Excuse me. Match it up to the other two pieces that are the same. So we got two of these. We got two of these. It's a four and a three. And it's a four and a three. So the fours go with the fours. Like so. The threes go with the threes. On the diagram, it just shows one and twos. So that's just there's nothing, nothing very hard to figure out. It's just the way that it is. And then there's sleeves on the end of this one. So that's where this connects up to this piece that just connects the two legs together in the latter form. Okay, now all you got to do is put these things with the caps already on onto the two sets of legs and then you just squish them together. So they give you all these sleeves here. And there's one that's longer than all the rest, but all the other ones are the same length. You just pop them in. Trying to do this, like I said, quickly because children don't give you a lot of time. So I apologize if the video quality isn't uh, isn't the greatest because you know I'm not a professional. But anyways, I'll just show you quickly. So these are the formation of the legs. Like I said, I'm just popping in the sleeves. Just like that. Everything's just kind of pressure fitted. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to go around and glue all this. The idea is that you're not supposed to have to do that. But I, we'll see. I know there's not a lot of pressure. So I don't think we'll need to glue it. But we'll see when we go to, go to turn on the pump. I'm just doing this on my back deck because it gives me the most amount of space with the least amount of background noise. And pop that in there. Like that. And again, this one here is just a little longer than the rest. And I, I'm thinking it's meant for the drain at the bottom. So the other set that I bought, the manufacturer messed up. The, uh, the T was turned turned in towards this way. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm, I'm probably just going to put like a bit of a, a downspout onto it. But worst case is I'll just have to heat up the joint here because these feel like they're pre-glued. I'll have to heat up the joint and see if I can just turn it to get it facing down. But yeah, the other set that I have, it's facing outwards, which uh, I don't think will be a problem, like I said, but uh, we'll see when we go to use it if I have to make any adjustments. But this one is set up the, the right way. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna put the thing together. So I'm gonna set all these big tubes here into these holes, and then I just kind of sandwich the two pieces together and stand it up, and we'll be set. So no rhyme or reason to it. You just pop them in. eight of them with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. So 72, 72 spots for hydroponic growth, which is pretty good. And these work really good. Like the one we, we built in our previous residence, it worked well. Um, it just didn't, uh, Hi, Daddy. it was just hard to put together and had, had a lot of drain problems because I didn't have the angles quite right. Hi, buddy. Today, today. Yeah, we're gonna connect it together, okay? Yeah, water and then <laughs> Yeah, eventually water and plants. You're blocking the camera, buddy. You gonna be on the video? Yeah. So the last part.
is you just line all the pipes up with the holes. Like I said, you get it started. Twist, everything's movable, right? Because it's not glued. So you want the angles to change after the fact, it's not a big deal. Um, but then I just kind of go and hit everything together so it's nicely. Instead of hitting it together like I'm doing, if you had like a rubber mallet or whatever, or just pressure it as much as you can. Hey, sure I'm not high outside of that. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. The walk up stone video? I forget what we paid for them, but I think it was, it was either just over a hundred or less than a hundred. Which, you know, it's really reasonable for the amount of material that you're getting with these. and. The fact that you don't have to go through with all the, uh, oh. the measurements or anything. So, um, yeah, so this again, hydroponics ladder. It's uh, 72 yeah, holes. And you can get them a different configuration too. They sell them as a, as a table or as the ladder. We opted for the ladder just because it gives us a little bit more space to work with. But um, yeah, that's, that's the assembly. Very straightforward. And again, the water goes, so your bucket sits at the bottom of this nozzle here where your pump goes inside the bucket filled with water because it's a submersible pump. It goes like yeah. that. It's water. just, it's yeah, it's, it's just a little pump here. So it's just a little, it almost looks like a pond pump, like a little um, aquarium bubbler pump. <coughs> but, it, oh buddy, it's got little remote controls time controller so you can time it for as long as you want it to run to uh, feed your plants with the hydroponics. And then there's a clear hose that comes with it too. That attaches into there obviously and then it circulates through the ladder down to the bucket and then back up to the top and yeah. The V-Bore system, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it seems pretty, pretty impressive for the price tag. Um, and it's it's a good size, so it's I'd say it's probably three three plus feet tall and three plus three feet wide, give or take. So it's a good size for the price tag and well worth the money. And from my opinion so far, we'll see how it runs, and we'll do a video attached to this at the end just to show what it does when it's running. But uh, yeah, so final video on this product. We've got uh, both of them are running. This one that they provided me the extra nipple because the elbow was turned incorrectly is working just fine. Um, this one is still running. We've gone through two cycles with it now. And uh, yeah, the only thing to make sure of is make sure your water is above your pump level so you don't burn out your pump. Um, so you got to make sure you got enough water in your buckets so that it holds what water it needs in the actual tower and then still has water in the pail for the for the pump to stay submerged um so yeah we've got you know just about three quarters of an inch above the pump there and we're starting to drain out pretty steady now so that's that's good yeah it's a i haven't had any leaks which is surprising i'm a little nervous about them not being glued so I've, i'm probably going to end up gluing them um down the road just because I know when we move these things that they're probably gonna come apart and I'm not gonna notice and then we're gonna have leaks and water everywhere so but otherwise they're fantastic um, I think they're about just about a hundred bucks I think I think we got them on sale 
but the site was Vivor. These are 72 cup ladder hydroponic system. Comes with everything you need. You even get a little few extra cups. It looks like five or six cups there. But yeah, fantastic. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Gotta get some nutrients and then our fish. We're good to go. Yeah, do some growing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Beauty.